Welcome to the homework for Lesson 8. This is Module 3 of Grade 3. Please write your name first. And we're solving some of this. Uh, there's some extra punctuation here. Just remember, whatever is inside the parentheses is what you do first. So we're looking at 6 plus 3 first. That's 9. So we're really looking at 9 minus 9 for 0. And then over here, we're looking at 9 minus 6 first. That's 3. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So the idea is that if you don't do this right, <clears throat> if you don't pay attention to the parentheses, you can get two different answers. Because you have here you have 9 minus 6 plus 3 here and here you have 9 minus 6 plus 3 but depending on where the parentheses are you can get two different answers so here's our next one we have 14 minus 4 plus 2 and 14 minus 4 plus 2 but for the for this one here 4 plus 2 is 6 14 minus 6 is 8 and for this one, on for this one, D, 14 minus 4 is 10, and we're looking at 10 plus 2, which is 12. And here we have 4 plus 3 times 6, and here's 4 plus 3 times 6, but the parentheses are different. So here's 4 plus 3, that's 7, so 7 times 6 is 42. Over here, you've got 3 times 6 first, because that's in the parentheses. So that would be 18, and you have 4 plus 18, which is 22. Much different. 18 divided by 3 plus 6, and 18 divided by 3 plus 6. But here, you do the 18 divided by 3 first. That's 6. So you're looking at 6 plus 6, which is 12. And here you do the 3 plus 6 first. 3 plus 6 is 9. So you're looking at 18 divided by 9, which is 2. And now we're using parentheses to make these equations true. So what the way to do this is guess and check. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to guess here. What if it's around the first two? And if it's true, then I'm done. And if it isn't, then it's around the second two numbers. It's not around the first two numbers. It's around the second two numbers. Or the first operation and the second operation. So here's 14 minus 8. That's 6. 6 plus 2 is not 4. So that cannot be correct. So I'm going to put it around the 8 plus 2. 14, uh, the 8 plus 2 would be 10, and 14 minus 10 is 4, so that one works. All right, let's try the 14 minus 8 first. 14 minus 8 is 6, and 6 plus 2 is 8, so good. That one works. Let's try the 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 times 7 is not 30, it's 42. So it's got to go, has to go around the other two numbers, 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 2 plus 28 is 30, so that's where it goes. Let's see if we can get this a little bit bigger. 2 plus 4 times 7. We'll try it around the 2 times 4. 2 plus, I mean 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. So that's where those parentheses go. And we're looking at these here. We'll try it around the 18 divided by 3. That is 6. And 6 times 2 is 12. So that one's good. And now we're looking at the same 18 divided by 3 times 2 well <clears throat> we just did it 
we know if we put the uh, parentheses around the 18 divided by 3, it's going to come out to be 12. So it's got to go around the 3 times 2. And this is 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And now here we have 50 divided by 5 times 2. 50 divided by 5 times 2. So let's see. We'll try the 50 divided by 5 first. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Well, 10 times 2 is not 5. So we're going to have to go around. And that would be 50 divided by 10, which would be 5. So that means H... The parentheses have to go around the 50 divided by 5, which is 10. And that makes the 20. Lesson 8 homework. Page 2. Determine if the equation is true or false. So, this one here, they figured out it's true. But we want to show some evidence, too. So in this space here, either here or here, however you want to do it, you got to show your evidence for how you figured out whether it's true or false. And we do that by looking at the 10 minus 7. That's 3. So we should have 3 times 6 equals 18 true and we're just solving what's in the parentheses and rewriting the equation 35 minus 7 well that's 28 28 divided by 4 equals 8 oh it equals 7 so that's false Here we've got 20 minus 13. That's 7. So the statement here is 28 equals 4 times 7. <laughs> That's true. And you can see that these are... <clears throat> just figuring out... That's 22 minus 8. That's 14. Fourteen divided by 5 is not 35. So that's false. Jerome finds that 3 times 6 divided by 2 and 18 divided by 2 are equal. Explain why this is true. Okay, so you can see this is the same as 18. So you can just write that down. Three sixes, six, twelve, eighteen. So, so, three times six divided by two equals. Divided by 2, which equals 9. Number 5. Place parentheses in the equation below so that you can solve by finding the difference between 28 and 3 and write the answer. 
So we want to find, we want to put parentheses around this so we get 28 minus 3 out of it. Well, let's just try parentheses around the first two. 4 times 7, that's 28, right? Because it's 7, 14, 21, 28. So times... 7 minus 3, 28. The difference between 28 and 3 is 28 minus 3. And 28 minus 3 equals 25. And there, wrote the answer. Number 6, Johnny says that the answer to... 2 times 6 divided by 3 is 4, no matter where he puts the parentheses. Do you agree? Place parentheses around different numbers to help you explain his thinking. Okay, so let's try it. 2 times... Oops. Let's write that over. 2 times 6 divided by 3. Let's try there. But then we have two sixes, which is 12, divided by 3, and 12 divided by 3 equals 3, 6, 9, 12. It takes four threes. So if we try 2 times 6 divided by 3, and we do this, let's see if it equals 4. 6 divided by 3 is 2, because it's 3, 6, takes two threes to make 6, and then 2 times 2 it equals 4, it's the same. So, I agree. If you want to be extra fancy about it, you can write the two expressions being equal to each other. And that they both equal 4.